going on? We made it to Linville Gorge, North Carolina. We're at the Connolly Cove Trailhead. Seems to be a pretty popular place. Lots of cars in the parking lot. There's the Civi, if you can see that. A little Honda Civic, it made it. This road is ridiculous, by the way. If you, <clears throat> if you look at the cars in the parking lot, it's only me and one other little guy over there. But it made it. It's definitely, definitely rough terrain. I would recommend a four-wheel or all-wheel drive vehicle coming down here. All right, so we got the ULA as usual. Got a couple of little things <clears throat> to get us started. Uh, little extra things for the evening. I got my 20 degree bag. I got a fleece bag liner with me. So, you know, it's gonna get cold tonight and I wanna be prepared for that for sure. Lots of layers. So let's get ready. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize beforehand for all of the brightness in the sun because it's literally I'm shooting not directly into the sun it's in front of me but it's pretty high it's one of the first days of spring so it's definitely going to be bright out here I almost walked into a pole so I should probably pay attention to where I'm going they were definitely right about it being slow going through here that's for sure um, it's rugged I mean not any particularly worse than any other trail that I've been on just a lot of back and forth and up and down and all that fun kind of stuff it's not too bad though like I said and I've been through you know some other rugged stuff too sorry if the uh, if it's dark but we're like in and out of the trees the whole time so it's not really a consistent anything <laughs> But that's okay. It's only about a mile down. Connolly Cove is supposed to be one of the easier trails too, which is definitely all right with me. Um, but they say basically every mile make it two because of the terrain and everything. I'm only gonna do two and a half miles, something like that, which may equate to four, just depending. Just gonna get down on the river and you know find a good little spot and camp out for the night. All right, so we made it to the intersection of Connolly Cove and Rock Jock Trail. Um, if I went back up that way, I could go down towards Pynchon, but if I keep going down this way, then we're gonna go down into the gorge, which is exactly where I'm trying to go. You can't really see it. I mean, you can. We got a little bit of the mountain in the background. I saw Table Rock on the way in here. That was pretty cool. At least I think it was Table Rock. I don't really know the names of all the mountains yet I'm not even gonna lie like which one is which be able to point it out by looking at it um, pretty sure in this area it's just short off a of table rock little table rock hawksbill all that kind of stuff so we'll get to see them I just won't be able to tell you which one is which hope that don't make you mad let's get back on the trail you know the whole time I'm doing this I'm thinking this isn't too bad it's not too bad at all and then I realize oh yeah you're going downhill of course it's not that bad tomorrow you're gonna have to go back up it that's when it's gonna be fun so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that, that right there in the distance is Table Rock because it looks nice and flat on the top, even though it's not really. <laughs> but I could be wrong, whatever. Not stressing it. We we'll get back to walking. I don't know how well this is coming across on camera but it is gorgeous it is gorgeous in here let me say that one more time it is gorgeous like I understand all the wows now you know when you watch other channels and the guys are out here and they're just like wow yeah definitely wow I had to take off my uh, my buff because I'm starting to get a little bit sweaty and that's just not cool you definitely you don't want to be out here sweating because it's cold it's not like it's gonna get down into the 30s tonight maybe into the 20s I'm not quite sure um, when I looked it said that it was only going to get down to like 34 but that doesn't mean anything you know weather can change on a dime uh, so the highs today are supposed to be in the 50s which it feels like it's in the 40s right now probably um, might push into the 50s so it's not like 
freezing or anything, but it's cold enough that I don't want to sweat. And being in the shade and everything here is, you know, making it feel a little cooler than it actually is. <clears throat> That's what we just came up. Can't really come, doesn't really come well, doesn't really come across well on camera either, but it's been switchbacks pretty much the entire way down. Which is okay, you know, it definitely eases up on some of your load. I'm standing in a rather precarious spot right now, so... <laughs> I mean, there aren't really many flat spots to stand on. Everything's kind of a precarious spot. I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's, it's not level ground, and I could fall if I moved the wrong way. Um, you don't want to do that out here, because it's going to take a while for someone to get to you. So be careful. Definitely, if you come out here, be careful. And on that note, I'm going to sit for a second and then get back on the trail. Whoo, man. Gorge will put it on you, son. I ain't even kidding. It's been a, it's been a nice little walk. <laughs> I'm getting there. It's taking time for sure. I'm slowly but surely in it. I'm not trying to go too fast, like I said. I'm not trying to, to hurt myself or get myself into any kind of bad situations. I know I'm all squinty-eyed right now, but it's actually pretty bright outside. Sun's getting ready to be right overhead. It's about 11:30 or so, 11 o'clock somewhere in there. I haven't looked at my watch in a while, but. Last time I looked at it, it was about 10.30, and I know I've been walking for at least an hour. So, sit here and catch my breath, take a little bit of a drink of water, and get back to it. All right, guys, we made it to the river. Sorry I didn't feel much on the way down. It was just, you know, a lot of switchbacks and rocky terrain, and logs falling over in the trails it it's pretty rough going I saw a family or a group of people anyways had a dog with them they seemed pretty nice and then i came down trail just a little bit on the uh the linville river trail linville gorge trail whatever the heck it's called i don't even remember i'm just tired right now and i want to eat <laughs> but there was a couple and it looked like they were getting ready to camp there so i didn't want to film right up in there you know in their little spot so figured i'd come down trail a little bit i'm gonna find me a spot to eat lunch take a little bit of a break, and then keep pushing forward to camp. That's the famous tree. I actually had to, I turned back. Um, I'm not at Connolly Cove yet, I'm right there just about, but I'm not going back up Connolly Cove. I'm still gonna camp down here tonight, but the original campsite that I wanted to go to the trail was just, I, I couldn't tell if I was on trail or off trail, losing the trail, still on the trail. And rather than like just dig too far out into the woods and not know where to go, I thought it'd be smart to come back the way that I came. And instead of going to the left like I did, I'm going to go to the right. And there are a couple of campsites and a water source real close by. And I know you say, but hey, you've got a water source right there. Why wouldn't you drink out of that? Well, apparently there's a lot of mercury in that water and I don't want to take that risk, so I'm going to hike up here a little bit more. I still haven't had lunch, man. I'm starving, so I'm going to sit down and eat some lunch and then hit back on the trail. <clears throat> All right, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon now. I finally settled in, got some lunch, got camp set up and everything uh, right here by the river, as you can see. Lindo River, I'll be hearing that on that. How fantastic is that? There's camp. Still kind of, you know, not completely set up, but good enough. The campsite is like literally right on the trail. And that's not my fault. I mean, I know, you know, she, she's supposed to camp, what, like 150, 200 feet off a trail or something like that. But it was here. It's close to the water source. Finding a campsite, um, it's like buying realty honestly like buying real estate you want to find something that's close to a water source you know so you don't have to go too far to get your water um you want to find some level ground if you're doing tent like i am you know and it's already set up so it's a bigger space it looks like it's for more campers than just one but honestly it's what's gonna have to make do for tonight i'm okay with that there are a lot of people here today too like i have been out to uh, several other places you know yuari and uh <clears throat> Raven Rock and things like that and not seen as many people as I saw here today. This is a very popular spot apparently 
but that's cool I'm okay with that you know it's public land that's what it's here for for people to enjoy and I'm glad people are actually getting out here and enjoying it so that's great I'm going to uh, finish up some camp chores and get everything set up and have some dinner and just relax because it's time to do that for sure definitely time to do that after today all right just thought I'd go ahead and show you this is home for the evening <laughs> so I've got my outdoor vitals 20 degree bag and underneath that I've got my field and stream this I got at field and stream it's just a fleece sleeping bag liner um, I've actually got my sleeping pad inside of that so it's kind of giving me because this is it's the climate um, and I don't actually have the insulated version I just have the regular version so this is going to be my insulation for it and if it gets cold enough I can just climb underneath that as well so be underneath that and my <clears throat> 20 degree bag and I've got my outdoor vitals pillow yes I know I look like an outdoor vitals fanboy but to be quite honest stuff is you know inexpensive and it works just as good as a lot of the big box stuff you know the stuff you pay double the price for it hasn't let me down yet I also have the 30 degree airy quilt from them and this is the 20 degree and I have not been let down yet with either and then I've also got just in case my SOL you know emergency blanket just in case it gets really really cold and I can't handle it All right we got a fire going we got food over here prepping ready to be eaten tonight's entree is alpine alpine airy okay i guess that's how you say it it's mountain chili it's gonna be freaking awesome got water filtered tent set up river rivering there's some people camping down there and i think some people camping over there as well so i'm not alone tonight which is fine i don't mind i like having people around it doesn't bother me at all they seem to be having a good time too so we'll all have a good time together I'm gonna keep this fire going. All right, sun's getting ready to set. Well, in an hour or two. It's a little after five, around almost six o'clock. Um, winding down, I'm trying to eat all that chili. That's a ridiculous amount of food. That's enough for two people. I mean, I'm a big dude and I don't eat that much. But I guess if you're like, you know, really putting in some miles, you need that many calories. I'm gonna eat as much as I can, hopefully doesn't attract too many animals but to be honest there's people over there there's people over there there was a guy that was my neighbor next door but he's gone now I don't know maybe he didn't want to be my neighbor or maybe he just went to get some water I <laughs> can't really tell you not quite sure I'll find out in a minute though that's for sure definitely tired I got up at four o'clock this morning to drive here it was a long drive and then hiked all day long through some of the roughest terrain I think I've ever been through it was definitely fun though. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Alright guys, it's day two. Just getting up, getting things together. It was cold last night for sure, but I did fine. I mean, wool socks, thermals, and the 20 degree sleeping bag did just fine. I didn't even have to crawl underneath the sleeping bag liner. Um, I realized I was set up kind of on a hill, so I had to sleep backwards this way because otherwise my head would have been way down here and it felt like I was falling the whole night, so that wasn't cool. So I just spun around and got that set up. Um, everything did fine, though. I mean, it got cold, but not anything too crazy. The tent condensation all on the inside of this, uh, this rain cover, which I guess is okay because it didn't get to me, but... It is, it is, I guess, from my breath or something. It's just total soaked on the inside. So we know this thing isn't, I mean, it kept me dry, obviously, but like it's definitely, I guess, not rated for f temperatures of freezing. Everything stayed good though. None of my water froze or anything. I stuck it in the bag with me and kept me warm all night long. Kept it warm all night long. I'm gonna make some breakfast and pack up camp and hit the road. All right, so for breakfast this morning, I got some oatmeal, strawberries and cream, because it's my favorite. There's the stuff for my uh, alcohol stove, my striker. There it is over there, the Toke 750, getting some water to boil. My REI sit pad, because I'm old and it makes my butt feel better. And then I'm also going to have 
<coughs> excuse me, some mocha hot chocolate mixed with the Starbucks Via espresso, mocha espresso. That stuff is delicious. That's going to be my breakfast right there. Drink that cold. I don't really <coughs> need to heat it up. It doesn't bother me any. Like I said, cold coffee doesn't really bother me. Even on a cold morning, I prefer it. But I can't drink the Via by itself. It's too bitter. It needs some kind of sugar, so that's why I mix the hot cocoa in it, because it gives it some of that sugariness. You know, I, I said that on the last video. <clears throat> but it does, you know, and that way I don't have to bring sugar out here because sugar attracts ants and other things like that. Even though it's too cold for ants right now, but it doesn't matter. Look at that. That's what I woke up to this morning. I mean, it's just breathtaking. It's fantastic. I can't, I can't express it. It's kicking my butt, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. So worth it. <laughs> Sitting here taking a break, getting my wind. We made it. Back up to the spot yesterday where I sat and had a little bit of lunch. Well, I didn't actually have lunch up here. I'm sorry. I sat and had a snack. And I'm sitting and having a snack up here again today. So <clears throat> it's kind of taking a break. I'm almost there. Whew. But it is definitely harder going back up than it was going down for sure. Lots of people out still today. Everyone is super, super nice, which is fantastic. I saw some trail maintenance people cutting one of the logs I had to cl uh, climb over yesterday, cutting it up. That was pretty cool. And those people are awesome taking care of this stuff, you know. And I know a lot of those people are volunteers too, so that's just fantastic. Uh, one of the guys almost fell, which was crazy to see. Um, but they all, you know, team worked in and everybody got together and pulled them up and they kept right on doing what they were doing. It was fantastic. All right, well, I'm gonna sit for a second and get back to it. That was, that was brutal. It's one of the hardest hikes I have ever done. So we started off up here. We hiked all the way down into the gorge. And then today we hiked all the way back up. It's only about a mile and a half, but I think it's 2,000 feet descent. I don't know exactly, but whew. now I have to make this ridiculous ride back out here on that road, which is, just as brutal for the car. Thank God not as brutal for me, but it's gonna be fun. I am starving. I'm gonna find me something to eat as soon as I get out of here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you got the guts, come and try it out. It's well worth it.